first on the go. It is a somber start to the morning for our nation. Today we marked 22 years since the September 11 terrorist attacks that took the lives of nearly 3,000 people. Americans now marking September 11th as a day of remembrance. Central New York will have several ceremonies throughout the day. You are looking at Oswego there at 830. The city will hold a remembrance ceremony on the East Bridge Street. But again, this is happening right now in Oswego. Also at 830, the city of Syracuse will have one at Foreman Park downtown. We'll be streaming it live on localsyr.com. A rude awakening for the city of Oneida. House explosion rocking a neighborhood Saturday morning. Police blame the blast on a teenager. They say crashed a stolen SUV into a home three hours earlier, severing a gas line. Officers expect him to be charged this week. In Oneida County, Utica City Schools are going into a district-wide lockout today. This means the only people allowed inside will be students and staff. The safety measures are a result of a shooting at a school football game over the weekend. During a fight, a 16-year-old shot a security guard. This morning, the state attorney general's office continuing to investigate the death of two teen burglary suspects shot by a sheriff's deputy last week. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Office now releasing the name of the deputy, John Rossello, a seven-year vet of the force. The sheriff's office says he has never been involved in previous shootings. Starting at 9 this morning, we'll see the first significant disruption related to the I-81 project. Exit 16A on 81 southbound will be closed. That's the southern end of the city near Loretto, connecting you to 481 going toward DeWitt. The state DOT says detour signs will be imposed. DeMar Hamlin is ramping up to be back on the field tonight. After a heart-stopping hit earlier this year, he's back in the Bills lineup. The safety will take the field for his first regular season game since he suffered cardiac arrest during a football game last season. And we'll be airing that game right here on News Channel 9. Coverage starts at 7 with Buffalo kickoff live, followed by NFL Countdown at 7.30 and the game at 8.15.